Well, good morning, everybody. I'm in a very quiet area on the edge of Fetford Forest, miles away from the main areas where the crowds usually gather. Um, it's a Friday morning, and I'm having a little look in this area to see what's about. I've not been here before, and as uh, soon as I get out the car and start walking on, this like little pathway I spot a great big death cap look at that huge great big olive green capped death cap there you go so hopefully that's a sign that there's uh, some things about it so to interest us so if everybody's uh, enjoying the videos please Feel free to share with your friends or like and subscribe. It'll help uh, build the channel and it doesn't cost anything to subscribe. Um, it's just that you'll get a notification when I put the next video out. So let's carry on and see what we can find. Well here we've got a little bit of cup fungus. There's quite a few of them um, in this group. So it's a bit of a job for me to tell you without looking up what they are but uh, there's a little cup fungus coming out the ground as you can see a bit like orange peel fungus that sort of rubbery texture but there we go so let's move on well we seem to have uh, found an area of death caps there's one there A large mature one there and there's one two three four more here five more here in a group as you can see these are a bit older so we've definitely definitely found an area where the death caps are really enjoying living there we go we certainly will not be picking any of these because they will if you eat enough they will kill you here under this beech tree we've got a nice rosy bonnet with the Sun shining on its cap and of course yet more death caps another one there a very big one old one over here look and then on this twig we've got uh, I'm not sure what it is growing I don't think it's yellow staghorn but it's something very small and quite interesting so I'll have to have a look and see if I can find out what that is for you. But uh, let's carry on. Now I've just found a few of these. And I think these are, or could be, web caps. Although they're, they've got that um, purpley lilac haze underneath, like the wood blue itself. These have also got that brown staining. See that brown staining at the top of that stem, which is the spores that stick to the stem when the cap opens. I'm pretty sure that these are web caps. I certainly wouldn't want to take a risk and eat one. I certainly wouldn't. But that's what I think they are. A different kind of cap to the wood blue it. The wood blue it's got that lovely rubbery cap. So we'll put him back because I'm pretty sure that is one of the uh, web caps which shouldn't be eaten. I'm not sure how poisonous they are. Some people say you can eat them but I wouldn't try it. Here I picked another one of those 
that I think is a web cap and here you can see there's that yellow that uh, brown staining around the stem that's one of the alarm warnings that uh, they tell you to look for with a web cap so I'm pretty sure this identification is correct I'm pretty sure this is one of the web cap family there you go you can see it better there that brownie staining around the top of the cap, uh, stem from where the cap was attached to it there you go so I'm pretty sure that is one of the uh, web caps so we'll leave it alone I think some people eat them but I'm not going to try it's not worth it I'll stick to wood bluets there we go so let's carry on and see what else we can find we've got a lovely fresh bit of yellow staghorn coming up under this beech tree there we go no fungi search is complete without it and there's one of the many many tiny little mushrooms fungi that come up which to me if I start and try and learn all those it, 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 oh, I'll probably die before I learn them there is that many there's bonnets and pink gills and oh there's all sorts so uh, until we start trying to learn them we'll leave them little ones alone but there's a lovely yellow staghorn with a thick stem he's going to grow up to be a bit bigger that's for sure now we're going to play a little game of spot the fly agaric under these beech trees so I'm going to pan round slowly and we'll see if you can spot the fly agaric it shouldn't be that difficult anyone see him? there he is right there so let's make our way across and see him the sun shining on him oh there's two there's one small one but there's that lovely big fella that we saw Let's get some of this grass out of the way so you can see him better. There you go. Isn't he enormous? Nearly as big as a cricket ball. Hiding under this beech tree. Among the old beech nut husks. There you go. So let's carry on and see what else we can find. Here we've got another big fly agaric. So they're still coming out in this area. They're not being cut and taken away here like they are at the Warren. Nice big size. So let's continue. Here we've got two lovely fresh new flyer garricks. Just come out of this leaf litter. Not very old at all, perfect. Not a mark on him. The slugs have not got to him, and here's his brother, and the slugs have not got to him either. Aren't they lovely? I'm trying to uh, get in the way of the... That's better. The sun's shining now. After those storms, that great big storm yesterday, we got a sunny morning. So there we go. Two lovely, perfect fly agarics. So... Let's see what else is in this leaf litter under these beech trees. Here we have yet another young fly agaric. I don't know whether the rains this last few days has brought these out, but they're coming out everywhere again. Second flush. I'm pretty sure we've got a belete here. A young belete. There we go. He can go in the basket. Could be a map belete. Looks like it. Nice thick chunky little stem. 
So we'll be going in the basket. So there are the odd bleats coming up. These are nice little edible under these birch trees. Can't see any more about, but we will keep looking. Well, for those who watch my videos, you'll remember probably oh, three, four weeks ago, I found those lovely dog stinkhorns. Do you remember? Well, here we go, look. We've got some more. Long, lovely dog stinkhorns. All members of the stinkhorn family like the uh, big stinkhorns. These are very fragile, so I'm not going to lift them up. Got that red tip. We've got another one laying there that's broken, look. See how fragile they are? They're like hollow in the middle. But there we go, we found another one. Another nice one. So that's good. That's a nice surprise this morning. So let's carry on. I think I found a, uh, I think it's an aniseed mushroom. I think it's the aniseed mushroom. Yep. Yep. Oh yes. Smells lovely aniseed smell. That blue greeny colour cap. A bit like the colour of the uh, blue roundheads. But a lovely flat cap. But it really has got a strong lovely aniseed smell about it. So there we go. We'll put him back down. I don't think it's uh, an edible. If it is an edible, I don't think I'd want to try it. But there we go. So let's carry on and see what else we can find. Well, I've just had a find that's made my morning, made my day, made my week. Close to making the season. We were looking for... Uh, elfin saddles the other day and look what we've got here two beautiful beautiful elfin saddles look at those aren't they wonderful you can see now these are the dark version of the white saddle look at those lovely curled tops caps folded in twisted and then you've got that gnarled strong stem look at that they are absolutely amazing I've got to take some pictures now I'll probably take 100 pictures I'm over the moon they are fantastic I'll have a little look around and see if I can find some more in this area it's usually if you find one you'll find some more but they are absolutely amazing. That has made my day. I've been looking around for um, a couple more elfin saddles and like an idiot, right next to those two was a small young one growing, look. Can you believe it? How the hell did I miss that? But even better, I've found one that's been kicked Right, because we're on the side of a pathway here and I know people bring their dogs here because I've seen one lady with a dog walker. Here we go. There, look. An elfin saddle. Look at that gnarled, twisted stem. There we go, look. Let's get a close-up of that. And there's the cap, and the cap is all like bent over and twisted and folded. It's like something out of an old B movie, isn't it? A bit of an alien, this one. But what a lovely, lovely example of an elfin saddle. And those two there that we found first, there they are. And that young one there. I've took, I probably took 50 photographs. 
But there they are, what a morning. And we'll lay this fella beside them and hopefully any spores that haven't been spread will get spreaded out. So there we go. So I'll have a quick look round here before I leave this area, just in case there's one hiding, because it's a job to see them in this leaf litter, to be honest. As you can see, they're not. That one there was right next to it and I missed it. Right, let's go and see if we can find some more. I'm sorry, I forgot to uh, mention, just in case, these are not an edible, nor the white, uh, the white saddle neither. They are really not edibles. So uh, please don't even think of trying to taste them or cook them because they're not edible. So there we go. We've got a lovely old uh, puff ball here. He's an old fella, I don't know if there's any left in him. Yep, there's a few, a few spores left in. There it comes out like little puffs of smoke. There we go, but he's old. He's had about enough. His life is about over. I'm sure we've got a belete here, but I'm not sure what type. I think it's another mat belete by the looks of it. So uh, we'll put him in the basket. Yep, I think it's a mat belete. So we're going to start uh, heading back towards the car now. So far it's been an amazing walk. The finds have just been really, really good. Made my day. So let's head back to the car now. Well, that has been a fantastic walk. Uh, just over the moon finding an elf in saddles. You couldn't get a more perfect example. Now they're dark and gnarled and twisted and and they were so healthy. There was only that one that had been knocked on the right on the edge of the path. But uh, hopefully you've spread his spores about. So there we go. A great morning's walk in a different area. Quiet on the outskirts of Fetford Forest. Nobody else about. No... Uh, pickers with multiple bags of little um, beliefs, crackling beliefs and whatever. Just me on my own having a nice little walk around. So I hope you enjoyed the uh, video. Thank you for staying till the end. As normal, feel free to like and subscribe. Cost you nothing to subscribe and you'll always get that notification when I put the next video on. So, until the next time, everybody, hope you have a lovely day, and don't forget, keep your eyes open.